Hi, my name is Felipe. I am a PhD student at UW-Madison, and I am here to present our paper on compressive single photon 3D cameras. Single photon cameras based on single photon avalanche diodes or SPADs are an emerging type of sensor that have extreme sensitivity down to individual photons. Moreover, they also have very high time resolution, which can enable precise 3D imaging and high-speed video reconstructions. Finally, we are seeing rising spatial resolution thanks to their compatibility with the CMOS manufacturing process. Due to these capabilities, single photon cameras are being used in emerging applications. However, one major challenge that arises for these cameras as their resolution increases are the unmanageable data rates that they output since they are capturing one photon per pixel at a time at extremely fast rates. In this project, we tackled this data rate problem in the context of 3D imaging. SPAD's capability of capturing the time of arrival of each photon with extreme precision makes him a natural candidate for 3D imaging using the time of flight principle. A SPAD-based TOF 3D camera estimates scene depths by building a histogram of the time of arrival of each detected photon and computing the distances by estimating the round-trip time of the light pulse from the histogram. Consider capturing the following scene with a SPAD-based 3D camera. This camera can capture the 3D structure of the scene quite well if we store a histogram with a high temporal resolution of around 50 picoseconds. The data rate of this modest resolution sensor would be 9.2 gigabytes per second, which is already above the rate that a USB 3.2 could handle. Reducing the resolution of the histogram can make the data rates more manageable. However, this comes at the expense of depth resolution. In general, we could compress the 3D histogram image effectively if we had it available, because we could simply estimate the distances at each pixel and then discard the histograms. However, this may not be possible because of the amount of in-sensor memory required to store the large histogram image. This raises the question, can we compress a histogram on the fly without ever explicitly reconstructing it where we see each photon and its timing information only once? To answer this question, let's revisit the histogram formation model. Consider a single timestamp. We can represent it as a one-hot encoding vector where all elements are zero, except for the element at an index that is proportional to the recorded timestamp value. A histogram can then be assembled by summing all the timestamps in their one-hot encoding vector representation. Under this representation, a coarse histogram is built by multiplying the full resolution histogram with a downsampling matrix. This is simply a matrix vector multiplication where the vector is the sum of all the one hot encoded timestamps. In practice, to avoid storing the full resolution histogram, the downsampling is applied on the fly to each timestamp vector individually. But it is possible to think that in general, we may not be restricted to a downsampling matrix. The matrix operator could be something else, like a matrix where each row is a gray code as shown in this slide. So our idea for performing online histogram compression is simple. We design a coding matrix that is used to project each timestamp onto what we call a compressive histogram, which is the data we store and transfer per pixel. So what coding matrix should we use? In the paper, we discuss this question and present different heuristics on how to design a coding matrix for 3D imaging. We evaluated different coding matrices on real-world experimental data. Using a coarse histogramming approach with eight time bins and a sub-bin depth estimation algorithm, we get the following depth image. If we use a truncated Fourier matrix instead, we can greatly improve the results over a coarse histogram. In this work, we proposed a coding matrix inspired by gray codes, which fulfills many of the desirable properties discussed in the paper, and we find that it leads to a higher quality reconstruction. Now, let's consider a flash lighter scenario where we capture the following scene. If we compress the timestamp data using a truncated Fourier matrix, we obtain the following depth image. Although the depth image looks reasonable, if we looked at the depth errors, we find that the recovered depths have significant systematic errors due to indirect light reflections from other points. If we design the coding matrix to include high frequencies, then the errors due to indirect reflections can be greatly reduced, as shown in this slide. Please refer to the paper for more details. To summarize, we have proposed compressive histograms as a practical approach to compress high-resolution single-photon 3D data in an online fashion. Thank you.